All right. So, is our energy? Do we need to do lion face, lemon face, or are we good? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Lion face, lemon face, lion face, lemon face, lion face, lemon face. What? Yeah, I'm good now. Very good. Oh, she, what? she even's never been around when we've done that. <laughs> no, no, it's it's an ancient uh, technique um, ritual. All right, so uh, let's do <laughs> the intro. Three, two, God, one. Don't. I'm Phil DeLuca. <laughs> I'm Sean Watson. And I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> He's Shivam Bhatt. I am, in fact, Shivam Bhatt. Yeah. And Bhatt. this is and Commander In. Commander In. <laughs> Ooh, we're punchy tonight. Oh, Mandarin. See? Oh, and by cats. the way, Shivam, when you when you did that uh in the uh the the pair up with Sean there, you laughed too. Oh, so there. I cannot stop laughing right now. Mandarin. Thanks for listening, everybody. We put a spotlight on community issues, but never, ever talk about three banned topics. <laughs> Religion, politics, and Hearthstone. If you want to support the show, go to wherever it is you get your podcast from and give us a five-star rating. Maybe leave a nice message. Eventually, a couple of times a year, we read those out loud, so be the one we read out loud. Or you could just tell a friend. You can send them the MP3 as well. <laughs> send them a link. It's better. Let them download it. And then if you really want to support the show, you can visit patreon.com slash commander and MTG and donate a buck a show. That's an incredible amount. It helps us tremendously. And we really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to visit us on YouTube to comment, rate, and subscribe, and play us to the end that actually matters. And this episode, gentlemen, we will have a YouTube video, won't we? Yes, sir. Yes. This is going to be a yes, good one. Yes, we will. <laughs> yes. We have a wonderful show lined up. It's going to be a great one. We're going to talk about our Masters 25 preview card. <laughs> Yes. This is so cool. Yes. I am so excited for this set. And I'm super excited for the preview card. Because I've never gotten to make a deck with this guy. And this is going to be real fun, I think. Yeah, it is. It's going to be awesome. Um, so, alluding and, there, we may have a legendary creature as our preview mm -hmm. card. Yeah, we totally got Talarian Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so... <laughs> So without any other preamble than to tell you what we're going to cover this time, we're going to talk about our card, and then we're going to go back to Sean's latest game format, EDH Wrecked, and you'll <laughs> see why. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Shivam, you've never built a deck with this guy. Do you want to introduce our Masters 25 preview card to the world? I would be super happy to. Uh, this card, which first appeared in Commander 2013, is one of the most popular commanders out there. Uh, you might know him best as the Jund Dragon, Prosh, the Sky Raider of Kerr. Now, mm -hmm. I love Ooh. this guy because Kobolds of Kerr Keep and Rogosh of Kerr Keep were two of my favorite cards way, way back when I first started playing. But sadly, this guy isn't just a zero casting cost red creature. He is actually a three and a junt, so three red, black, and green for a five, five flying dragon. But that would make for a kind of boring commander. So what does he actually do? Well, when you cast Prosh, put X zero one red cobalt creatures <laughs> named Cobalt to Kirkheep onto the battlefield where X is the amount of mana spent to cast Prosh. Now, that by itself means he comes into play with five zero one tokens. Now, zero one tokens are pretty pathetic. So that's what you do with uh, Prosh is you eat them. His second line <laughs> of text says, sacrifice another creature 
Prosh gets plus one plus oh until end of turn. Now, if you've played Commander, you know that attacking somebody for 21 points of Commander damage means you win. So with Prosh, the fact that he goes back to the uh, command zone, gets hit with attacks, comes back with more Cobalt friends and more Cobalt friends and more Cobalt friends, means that <laughs> Hungry Prosh comes into play, punches you in the face, and I win. I am yeah, super two, excited. Two, two, two castings of him, you can kill someone. For a long time, um, Prosh was the go-to Jund commander, wasn't he? Yeah. And he's still really good. I mean, this is solid and it works with so many different things. If you have goes to the graveyard effects or leaves the battlefield effects, eat them, get some pluses, and then get your triggers going like, you know, Sakura Tribelder. Or if you are got some way to flicker him back and forth with artifacts, then you can just make a ton of kobolds out of nowhere. And if you're like me and kept all your old kobolds, you can still use those guys yep. as your tokens now because nobody's ever going to call you on it. I've been using my 2-2 uh, <laughs> Cat Warriors for uh, Jedi Ojanin, and everybody's just super excited to see the originals. <laughs> I think the same would work here. I'm yeah. super stoked for this card. I've never gotten to build a deck, even though I own the Precon, so I'm looking forward to giving him a try. Yep. He's in red as well, so uh, get a double strike enabler, and that is on your first casting instant death on the first person you attack. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty Sacrifice crazy. Sacrifice all six kobolds, hit someone for 22 commander damage. Hey, for what, he's, for what it's worth, he is the top Jund commander still, too. Oh, is he still holding the crown? Nice. So, yeah, he is, it is still the, uh, I, I think it's a he, right? We aren't told uh, anywhere. Yeah, I, I mean, it's see. really difficult to sex dragons, so. Um, <laughs> they, but he is the That's top another Jund episode. commander. <laughs> Clip that, someone, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's my ringtone. Um, so Prash still is the top Jund commander and is the 16th most popular commander on EDH Rec. And I only went there for the that particular set of stats. Oh, and of course he has 1,757 decks. Good gracious. That's all I've done on EDH Rec because as we go to EDH rec I can't yeah. have any foreknowledge of the... The deck. No, we thought it'd be fun. People, newer listeners that haven't played against Prosh or anything, you can hear an idea of what goes into his average deck in a fun and interactive manner. That's and right. And by interactive, um, I mean interactive for these two chumps. And while you set that up, have you or have either of you played against a, a really well tuned uh, Prosh deck? Yeah, he goes infinite with food chain pretty much. Oh. Uh -oh. Um, <laughs> food chain is a card that goes in this deck that ruins your day um i know my first guess <laughs> it but, might be in the deck but yeah uh, mountain is your first guess right he's uh he's absolutely deadly um and as sean was alluding to it's possible to one shot and uh i've seen it happen numerous times where prosh comes out he finally gets through the counter screen. Prosh comes out, devours his kobolds, one shot someone to death, and that's it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, that only has to happen once while you're at the table before you learn your lesson. I feel like I'm reinventing the wheel. I'm sure a lot of our more experienced EDH listeners are looking at me like, how have you not built a Prosh deck? Everybody has a Prosh deck. Yeah, well, I keep it as a pre-con just because it's a really good pre-con, but I'm super excited to try to actually brew a real deck with this. So that should be fun to try. Yeah. As a pre-con in, uh, 2013, we played a ton of these just, um, you know, round Robin, one person gets a pre-con. Uh, so we had five people playing and Prosh was just, just devastating. You had to watch out for it. And, uh, if you, if, <laughs> if you let it get out, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's doom. So newer players, we're sort of in the middle of a new player series as well. Newer players, when you see Prosh at the table, you have to expect that this thing is going to one-shot somebody before the night is over. Yeah. Yeah. So should I quickly read Food Chain, which basically makes him go infinite? Yeah. Uh, so Food Chain, uh, which is a very old card, is a green enchantment. Uh, it is two and one green to cast. <clears throat> Let me start that again. It is two and one green to cast. It says, remove a creature you control from the game. Add X mana of any color to your mana pool, where X is the removed creature's converted mana cost, 
plus one. This mana may only be spent <laughs> to uh, play creature spells, cast creature spells, <laughs> which means if you cast Prosh, you can effectively in- infinitely sacrifice him to himself. Oh my god. Uh, or any other sacrifice effect you've got, plus one of the kobolds it creates to make infinite mana. <laughs> I have seen some busted legacy decks use food chain, but this is uh this is another level, man. This looks pretty silly. It really is. And the typical and, use is to get um enough kobolds out so that Prosh can repeatedly attack because you probably have aggravated assault as well. And uh basically kill everybody on one one turn. It makes me wonder uh, if we're going to see the other um the other C thirteen uh, legends in masters 25 because it would be really neat to see like you know uh Derevi, marath aloro uh jaleva i think those are the other five right the other five uh, face cards yeah so, face well they have cards, to hold something yes. back for the commander anthology oh so. fair fair yeah but it's cool that they're bringing prosh prosh is amazing it would be even more amazing if they gave us cobalt tokens that looked like the original legends cobalt or even put the original ones in there but that's asking a lot that is asking a lot these days, but we will be getting cobalt tokens. I'm excited. Yeah. Prosh is well, amazing. Sean, this looks super awesome. Yeah, he really is. is. Cut now to you singing really badly. You came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a Jun deck yet. This is going to be super fun. Okay, so we're going to now play. Maybe it's time for you to come in like a wrecking ball. Indeed. (laughs) (laughs) Um, We're going to play a bit of EDH Wrecked. So the rules are simple, listeners. Um, I'm going to use the wonderful EDHREC.com, one of the best deck building resources ever created, and Mm -hmm. create, using their average deck button... The average Prosh Sky Raider of Kerr deck, based off all of their submissions for Prosh decks that have ever been uh, uploaded onto the site. Then, these two chumps are going to get... Oh, sorry, are going to take it in turns to guess a card that is in that deck. The rules are simple. Guess a card. If it's in the deck, they move on to the next player. If it's not in the deck, they lose a life... And then move on to the next player. If they're out of lives, they lose. The current reigning champion is Shivam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woo! Go Shivam. Ah, about time. After we played an exciting round with Meron of Clan Neltoff. Uh, as it's two players, we're going to play for three lives each. And we're going to start with... We're going to be nice. The reigning champion has to go second. So they're at a slight disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. It's only fair. So, Philip J. DeLuca. All right, I'm going to start off easy. I'm warming up. It's uh, Forest. Forest is in the deck. Shiva. Yeah. Soul Ring. Soul Ring is not in that nah, many joking. Soul Ring is in the deck. <laughs> I was about to be like, are you kidding? <laughs> um... Uh, well, I know. You know what? I'm just I'm taking the easy route because I need all the advantages I can. Mountain, mountain is in the deck. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Let's see here. What is the? Let's see. Overgrown tomb. Overgrown tomb is in the deck. Yes. Hmm. Uh, swamp. <laughs> swamp <laughs> is in the deck. Um, God, I'm trying to remember the guy who lets you lose life or lets you gain life whenever the creatures are dying. Uh, but let's see. Let's go back to just uh, basics here a second. So Forest Swamp or Ruin Tomb. Uh, yeah, going for the tricky ones early is a bad strategy, Shiv. Yeah, I, mean, I, I know. This I was game. like, ooh, I think I just uh, stuck myself. Um, how about Gruel Guildgate? Gruel Guildgate Ugh. is not in the deck. No, no one plays Guildgates. <laughs> she even loses her life. Two remaining. All right. Two remaining. Um, well, that brings to mind uh, blood 
and I am not just a connoisseur of blood. That's what the card was. Good. Guard, <laughs> guard. Blood, blood artist <laughs> is in the deck. Yes. Yes. Jerk butt. Um, <laughs> what else could you put in here? Uh, let's see here. Things that die. Things that die uh, from the Jund blocked. So let's see. From Alara. Uh, what was it? There was a Thought Tower? Uh, death something? Deathbringer Thought Tower? Deathbringer Thought Tower? It, it gets hmm. like counters when things die. You're ruining my dramatic pause. Is in the deck. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Because <laughs> I was looking at putting that card into another deck, and I'm like, yeah, that would go great in Prosh. Yeah, the the Deathbringer Thakdar is a is a visceral card, and there's nothing I like more than telling the future in my opponent's entrails as a <laughs> viscera seer. Viscera seer is in the deck. Isn't Woo! that the combo, blood artist and uh, <sighs> viscera seer, or some? No, there's something like that. Um, what about command tower? Command tower is in the deck. Yes. <laughs> What about it? You gotta go for that low-hanging <laughs> fruit, man. Yeah. Um, oh, I just went blank. Um, I can hear listeners screaming at their computers yeah. slash <laughs> listening devices. Yeah. Andy Andy Bentley says he was, oh, of course. Uh, grave Pact. Grave Pact. Grave Pact. The Expensive classic hard enchantment. Get. Is not in the deck. Oh, come on! <laughs> Who is building these things? Uh, We're going to call that one. Robots. Okay, how about... <laughs> call uh, that one Andy's Revenge, that one. How about yeah. uh, Old Faithful, the uh, Sakura Tribe Elder? Sakura Tribe Elder is in the deck. Is, of course it is. Any self-respecting green deck. You're both on two lives, as a little reminder. This yeah. Um, Dictate of Erebos. Dictate of Erebos is in the deck. Ooh. Yeah. What, so what is Grave Pact not doing in there? Grave Pact is like in Legacy. So it's probably too expensive. It's the um, dollar values. How about Gruel Signet? Gruel Signet is in the deck. All right. All right. Let's do Rakdos Carnarium. We're going down to lands. That's what the red Rectos doing, black Carnarium outside. is not in the deck. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, uh, Toxic Deluge? Toxic Deluge? I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Deluge! <laughs> is a sorcery, so I should stop looking at instance. Toxic Deluge is not in the deck so you're both on one life both on one life this is now sudden death gents sudden death all right golgari signet (laughs) golgari signet is in the deck Mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna go out on a reach here if you're making cobalt and it's jund colored so there's green in there um I'm going to say that somebody at least once has tried to put um, doubling season into this deck. Doubling oh, season. Oh, His that's... answer is doubling season. Bear in mind, we didn't have Grave Pact right. because of its dollar value. Okay, well, then what's the other one? Primal Vigor? No, no it's too late. I have to accept it's your first late. answer. Ha. Doubling season. We have a new champion. It's not in the deck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what about Primal Vigor, though? Uh, well, now we have a winner. Congratulations, Phil. I'll go for a Woo-hoo! few classics that you missed. Uh, <laughs> in the Creatures Department, you missed Avenger of Zendikar. Uh, you missed Solemn Simulacrum, just things that are in every deck. Xenagos God of Revels is uh, a classic. Uh, little oh, things yeah. that because of create strikes. tokens. Yeah, little things that create tokens, like... Um, uh, what's he called? A Fiamancer and Endric Zar are in the deck. Oh. Mm. Butcher of yeah, Malakir. Yeah, you got to feed the beast. 
Butcher of Malachir is in the deck, the creature grave packed on legs. Yeah, that's where and, I was going next. Oh, nice, nice. Um, a big one that you both missed, Perforos God of the Forge. Oh, I didn't miss it. I just didn't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't um, think so cruelly. We've got a standard set of green uh, instant speed removal, so Crozen Grips, Beast of Vins, that sort of stuff, Putrefies. Yeah. Uh, you missed all the tutors, so no demonic, no vampiric, no diabolic, uh, no diabolic intent. You missed all the green um, ramp, so the Kadama's Reaches, no expro, uh, no ex, uh, what's it called? Cultivate. Oh no, Cultivate is there, so Kadama's Reach, Cultivate, all that stuff. What about, uh, um, you missed Haste Enablers? Is not in there. Uh, you missed Haste Enablers, like skull, um, Lightning Greaves <laughs> and Swiftfoot Boots. Uh, you missed Skull Clamp, seems to be popular to miss that in this game. Um, Phyrexian Arena, none of you did card draw, and then there was a whole bunch of well, that's because we like failed on lands, lands right? Like, come on, we didn't even get to the fun. <laughs> There's a whole craziness. bunch of dual lands. So, when one of you said Overgrown Tomb, I was expecting you know, Blood Crypt and Stomping Grounds. Yeah, I couldn't remember the other two, <laughs> but yeah, well, well done, Jets. Well done, Phil. Your special hat will be in the post that I expect to wear. Or you can make your own version for a photograph made out of tin foil, please. Mm-hmm. Man, now I really mm. want to build this deck and put double Very season appropriate. in it. Are you, also, yeah. neither of you said food chain, which we'd spoken about mere minutes before. <laughs> I felt like that would have I, been cheating or an easy low, or you were lying to me. <laughs> I made a deliberate choice to give that one to Shivam. Sure you did. Oh, another big creature you both missed, uh, which is a big prosh creature, uh, is Crater Hoof Beermuth. Right. So, listeners, now you know how to build a prosh deck. <laughs> <laughs> M25 and, uh, coming soon. It's going to be super exciting. Yeah. Can't wait. We should uh, probably mention when M25 launches, right? How <laughs> about Listeners, the Masters 25 set is released on March 16th, 2018. If you're in the future, you know that already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not long from now at all. Oof. Wow, Prosh is an awesome preview card. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to preview it and bring it to the listeners. Masters 25 is going to rock. The other preview cards that uh, are released the same day, and we're on the first day again, guys. But other preview cards that are released on the first day, I cannot wait to see what they are. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Um, listeners, you rock. Uh, very special thanks to all of our patrons. They show our support by donating a buck or more a show. And each week, we like to call out three of you. This week, we're pulling from our most recent patrons and that's adam hicks who i met at strategic con orc con in february 2018 chip carry and camille kubiak without your continued support folks we could not do this show and we're very grateful that you're supporting us and thank you very much now shivam in the style of a dragon eating a kobold can you take us out please Go, Mandarin.